Rosalind. 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 Rosalind? Wake up, Rosalind. It's time for your training. Hurry up. Yes, Master Lavender. Darkness settled when these trees were still young. Will they ever remember the light that came before? Is she the beacon we've been searching the horizon for? Will she bring back the light? Lavender gave me my very own field notebook. In these pages, I will record everything I discover. For I am now a true archivist. I've always wondered about those tall trees in the distance. The ancestral forest. And today, because I am 18, I get to explore there. Today is your birthday, Rosalind. As promised, we're going to explore the edge of this ancestral forest, like you've always wanted to. Come on, Rosalind. Aren't you excited? You're a real archivist now. There's so much to see, so much to learn. I'll be with you the whole time. And don't worry, I won't get in your way. This is your adventure. Look at those mushrooms, Rosalind. I haven't seen a specimen like that in ages. Go on, examine them. I know you want to. These mushrooms may look quite common, but there's something special about them. Can you see it? You should have... You are quite right. Those are silver caps. Maybe you can find some more? If you study the samples intently, you'll learn all about the powers of nature. If you see the specifics of each, you will come to understand the whole, and you will behold magic in its true colors. Water is easily harvested from the bellies of these fragile plants. A simple hit makes them pop with the pressure from the water within. The 
young locals gather around a sally gush and with hollow bamboo straws, drink the exquisite salty liquid straight from the flower. Hold on. Don't be too hasty. You almost missed these grasses. We call them creeper's brush. They may seem common, but they make a great hiding place when in danger. Hostiles will never look for you in tall grasses. Write that down, too. Under cover of these lush grasses, I may study the woods around me and the life it accommodates. And I am forever grateful for the creeper's brush, especially when my feet yearn for a rest. Stay low, Rosalind. Always. Down in the grasses, they won't see you. These deadly creatures are not of flesh and blood. You can only defeat them with magic spells. I know true magic is strong in you, so I'll let you deal with them. But watch out, okay? I don't want you killed. Due to its strangely curved stem, this fickle flower appears to drift upward on every single breeze that passes by. bite marks I'd ever seen. What madness lurks in these woods? 
Lavender taught me about the spirit animals, and I remember the fox only reveals itself at times of great change. A creature this size must mean a terrible transition of some sort. <laughs> The forest has called for you and your true magic. Go explore as a true archivist and unearth the secrets of this realm. From here on, I am with you. The fox talks to me. He sensed my presence in the forest, so he came to see for himself. You are more powerful than you can possibly imagine, Rosalind. He spoke softly. I believe I am the only one that can hear him. Maybe it is our minds that speak to each other. I saved him, he tells me. I summoned the spirit fox within him. He couldn't find himself. And he is now bound to me until I release him. The gloomy soil of the ancestral forest is dotted with mushrooms. Folk have gathered these since ancient times, because their invigorating mineral power will keep you going for days.
When the smell of mint drifts on the air, I spot a green jasper nearby. They follow me around, no matter where I go. It turns out the vault holds no king, but it tells the story of the Black Baron who came from a foreign land. He had such high-end technological equipment and protective armor, he was indestructible. swallows nutrients from the surrounding area at a higher rate than even most aggressive fungi. Gummy bunnies are volatile by nature and elude at every sense of noise or movement. They plunge down at the slightest rustle of leaves or sway of my arm. This, Rosalind, the forest folk may not relate to your magic insight. Serenity is their shield against affliction. As we live in this day, we hold our hands in unison so you may hear us. We only say the words you would have us speak. So we may rise together under the protection of your unfolding branches. Help us listen to your voice. Help us find your song lines and hold them in our obedient hearts. We bend before you in honor of your strength far and wide, and your boundless wisdom. Forevermore we give you thanks for the magic that blesses the very land on which we walk. Today, we uphold the spirit of gratitude as we welcome among us the traveler from the faraway land. Welcome. 
come, Ross. Yes, we were talking about you. I, I am the White Queen, and I possess the most powerful magic. You must have heard of the Battle of the Spells. I fought the Black Baron and his dissident magic and killed him. Do not fear me, girl. If you are a true witch, you are most welcome here. Only be mindful not to get lost. Some of the darker places are quite dangerous.
none bloom so beautifully as this stardew. Its petals never close, so its heart can gather the light from the stars at night. <laughs>